All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 11 of the As Built series. We're shooting two in the same day today. Um, what we're doing is we're actually doing the, the final two things that we have to do here. We have to do a roof plan uh, of that As Built series and all the elevations, you know, are what we use to create that roof plan. And then in the next video that you see, it's not going to be one that I'm shooting now. It's going to be one that I put in that playlist to show you how to print all of this stuff and how to set up your sheets which are down here, um, or, you know, I guess we can call them our layouts as well. Um, so you'll want to watch that one, you know, if you want to print it out to a plotter or anything like that. And that video has already been made, so I really don't need to make it again. Um, but this one is about how to create the roof plan. So here we go. All right. So what you're going to want to do is, you know, this is what we're making right here. Okay. What you want to do is you want to take your four different elevations, starting with the front down here. The back is going to be upside down, facing down. Um, this is the left side and this is the right side and they have to face in and then we can start building our roof plan. Okay, so you're going to want to copy all of these. Take the whole view. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. And we can put that down here. And then we're going to take, this is the right elevation. So same thing, copy paste. That one's going to get rotated that way facing in. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, because you don't want this lined up with any of that, all right? Um, but you do want to line up these, this one from right to left, and this one from top to bottom. And we'll do that right now. So this one would be our left elevation. Copy, paste. Rotate so that it's facing in. So they're not lined up right now um, between this and this, but we'll do that in a second. And then the rear elevation, same thing copy and paste that one's got to be spun 180 degrees like so all right so in order to line these up what you're gonna do is you're gonna do X line stands for construction line um, hang on I got a couple extra lines here okay X line that's gonna go off the exterior wall and it's gonna go straight up same thing on the right side exterior wall it goes straight up now we know where to move this one in. By using the move tool, I can slide off of the exterior wall and move that over on the green line until it hits those red lines and then leave the red lines there for now. By the way, the red lines are a roof. So you wanna change um, your layer to be a roof and you can also do make layer, make objects layer current if you wanted to and go click on one of my roof ones in the file like that, okay? Um, so where are we at? <clears throat> Now, going left to right, I like the position of this one, so I'm going to go, actually, I don't. See how this is very close to that, so I'm going to slide that down just a little bit, like that. Okay, construction line. We're going to go off of the exterior wall of this one, and off of the exterior wall of the other side. Now we know where to line this one up. Take this, use the move tool, go from the exterior wall, slide it up on the green line until you hit the red. So this area right here, if you do fillet radius zero, is going to be the entire roof plan. Fillet radius zero, and then click between them, and then hit spacebar to get back into the same thing. So you can do that four times. You could also hit multiple and just go around and do all four without having to hit the spacebar. All right. Uh, next thing, the main peak of the house. Okay. So as we're looking at this right here, that's the main peak or the main roof. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a construction line off of that point and I'm going to do a regular trim, clicking the right and left side, hitting spacebar again, and then cutting off the sides. I can take <clears throat> this point right here, which is the bottom of that peak, and the same thing on the far side right here. And that's going to create, with a regular trim again, the back of that roof and the front of that roof. Okay, um, I can take this peak construction line again. We're going to need the middle of it. We're going to need the right of it. And we're going to need the left of it. Now, this one is that funny one that goes around the corner. So we're going to have a little fun right here with this one. Um, but just so you know, you can now trim that and that because this room bumps out a little bit. And then when we go to do this next one back here, we can do the same thing construction line we're going to do there 
there and there and now I don't want this to get confusing so let's start to clean up a little bit here so let's do um, let's do let's do trim let's click this line and let's cut that off let's do a quick trim on this one because this house bumps out right there right um, let's do regular trim click this line hit enter and cut those two off so you gotta it's hard it does look confusing but you gotta realize what we're actually looking at we're looking at the main roof here we're looking at the bump out here and the bump out there everything else really doesn't matter so regular trim click this line cut those um, this one we're gonna do this one last these can go so if you do trim click the front line and hit enter then you can click those trim again I'm gonna click this one and trim those because that only has to do with part of this roof back here this is gonna be a ridge coming into the other ridge okay or actually really into the back of the roof doesn't doesn't quite go all the way up to the ridge so quick trim let's trim that that and that now this is just a leftover line so delete that um, where did this line come from oh you know what so I shouldn't have left that I shouldn't have erased that line that line should stay because it should look like that and actually more like that all right so now here's the here's the rule of thumb here if you have two pitches that are the exact same it'll end up being a 45 degree angle on the roof plan okay so we have the pitch of this roof and the pitch of this roof and the pitch of this roof all 812 so it's an eight uh, eight rise for every 12 that it runs and that's inches um, although it could work for feet too um, so with that what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a line and you're gonna start right here and go angle we need to do a 45 degree angle but 45 would actually go that way so we need to do an angle of negative 45 to go down and you just kind of click that over here somewhere then we can trim that off we can trim this off take this one mirror that from here straight down erase the source no and you see that that one lines up perfectly with this corner so that part's done uh, in here okay we need to know how far this little thing bumps back so let's look at this it's gonna look like this this front one's gonna come over until it hits the outside one and then it's gonna come in and just kinda die into that this 45 will come off of that corner just like we did but this one will come off of something else so we'll talk about that in a second so this one can go to there which means that we can do a trim off of this line hit enter and trim the bottom stuff off uh, we don't need that and that what we can do is we can take our 45 right here this is gonna be angle 135 but it's still a 45 degree angle go like that trim those two that tells you where if we do our mirror erase the source no that tells you where this one should hit like that because this roof is the same pitch around this one but it this dies into this roof so when it hits that roof it stops and then the last thing you have to do here is you just got to figure out how far down this is where the shingles are right here so you can see that this is all open shingles we need to know how far those shingles go so that's gonna be to there whoops like that and then that tells you where that trims off that tells you where those trim off like that uh, and we don't need this line oh sorry we need the bottom of that line like that all right now it's done okay so the last thing you're gonna do here is you're gonna label go over to a roof plan somewhere else in this drawing grab a couple things like this grab ridge we don't have a hip roof grab valley um, and then grab like two arrows and line of structure below do control C control V and paste that stuff somewhere near your roof plan and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to set that up to look like this so I put roof slope 812 pitch and it's sloping down this way roof slope 812 down to the left roof slope down down up up so you're just copying that a bunch of times ridge you can put that I like to put two of them across the main ridge I like to put one across these gable roof ridges ridge right 
and then you're going to want to go around with these and get those to touch the outside and if you need to move the arrow like this to point to whoops the outside so you're saying that that's the structure below which we actually need to do right now i totally forgot to do that so here's here's that offset you're going to go three inches and we're going to go one two three four and you're going in five six seven eight nine ten and then you do fill it radius zero one two this is a good spot to hit spacebar and then hit multiple one two one two one two all the way around it should not touch the red lines except for where it crosses the ridge and where it crosses these little hip roofs here oh, i'm sorry these valleys this one from here to there because the, the even though the roof goes out further the room itself is still just in this area and the last one is right here all right so now match properties <clears throat> or select let's just do a select just because if you can't find where you're going to match properties off of then you don't really know where to match properties off of you could go over to my other view but it's pretty far away all right grab all those right go up here and select a wall below and that's going to show you the line of the structure below that's the exterior walls of the entire structure the reason for the red lines is that we have a three inch overhang you know we have this overhang here but this is not even with this it's three inches out because of all that trim and fascia board and the shingles that we draw all the way around the house which has a three inch offset all right so that's done so like i said you're just going to label the rest of this you put line of structure below and you point to the orange lines uh you put valley and valley once you get one in place you know and you make it on a 45 degree angle you mirror that across that and hit no and you got those two all right and that's pretty much it so now you got your roof plan all right so like i said go into that next video it's not going to be um i'm not going to shoot that right now it's already already been shot about a month or so ago but you're going to want to watch that and that's going to show you how to print this stuff and that's really important because why make all this stuff if you can't actually print it um, there's two different ways to print one would be just doing like a regular print and drawing a window around what you want to print and that would just go to maybe like you know uh, it could go to an eight and a half by 11 printer or it could go to a plotter but there's better ways to do it by setting up these layouts down here and that's what you're going to want to learn in the next one okay so i appreciate you guys watching that is actually the end of the as built series which was a lot of videos and a lot of time and i i commend you for getting through all of this um, it was a lot of work, and this is how you do it. So I hope you guys learned a lot, and I appreciate everyone watching, like I said. All right? I'll see you guys in the next one, or I guess in the next series. See ya.